so this Cafe Artigiano has got a beacon in it and uh, the Weave Pouch app um, has, has got Artigiano in, 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 the, in the wallet itself. Um, so what happens as a consumer is uh, when I walk in, the app can, can see the beacon and uh, my phone's just buzzed. Um, so if I unlock my phone now, um, I can see that there's an offer, actually it's in the top tray, and it says there's 10% off at Artigiano. I can swipe on that and it takes me to the offer uh, within Pouch and I can then go and take that to the till and get my 10% off. So really the, the user experience is as simple as that. Um, it should be quite transparent for the consumer, they don't have to do very, very much, it just happens for them. The generic term beacons basically means uh, a Bluetooth uh, or BLE beacon, which uh, emits a signal. So Apple um, have produced the specification that they call iBeacon. Uh, they announced last week that that needed to be licensed by any companies uh, that wanted to use it. And that's really um, just giving some guidelines about A, how you talk about iBeacon and how they work with, with iOS. Um, but actually iBeacons or beacons themselves work absolutely cross-platform. So uh, they'll work on iOS and they'll work on Android for example as well. We've got um, the rights to lots of locations in, uh, in, in Brazil, uh, so we're working very hard at the moment with sponsors to enable their apps for the World Cup this summer. Um, we've got a football stadium, for example, and we've got lots of uh, retail locations, so I can't reveal too much about it at the moment, but we're very excited.